Fisher Washer Troubleshooting. If you're looking for help fixing your Fisher Washer, look no further. Our comprehensive Fisher Washer Troubleshooting Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. The washing machine won't turn on. Check that the washing machine is plugged in and switched on at the wall. Try another power socket to be sure. Check that there has not been a power failure at your address. Switch the power off. Wait 60 seconds and switch it back on to reset the machine. The machine won't fill when the start pause button is pressed. Check that the door of the machine is closed properly. Check that the wash cycle has not been paused. If so, the start pause button will be flashing. Press the start pause button again to restart the cycle. Check for an error code on the machine's front panel. Check the hot and cold water taps that supply your machine are turned on. Check for blocked filters in the inlet hoses. Clear blockages and try again. Check for and straighten any kinks in the water hoses. The washing machine stops working mid-cycle. Check for an error code on the machine's front panel. Check that there has not been a power failure at your address. If so, restart the wash cycle once the power supply is restored. Check that the wash cycle has not been paused. If so, the start pause button will be flashing. Simply press the start pause button again to restart the cycle. A buildup of detergent suds can cause this problem. Check that you are using a front loader specific detergent. The wash cycle will restart when the suds have dissolved. The washing machine drains while it is filling. Check that the drainage hose is installed correctly and is not too low. Check that the outlet end of the drainage hose is not sitting in water. The washing machine isn't draining. Check for blockages in the drainage hose. Clear and try again. Check that the pump filter isn't blocked. Check that the drainage hose is not more than 1200 mm above floor level. If it is too high, adjust and try again. The washing machine is filling continuously. Check that the drainage hose is positioned in the standpipe or tub. If not, adjust and try again. Check that the standpipe or tub is at least 800 mm above floor level to avoid siphoning. The washing machine's rinse cycle isn't working properly. Check that you are using a low suds. Front loader specific detergent. Check that you're not using too much detergent. Check that the wash load is distributed evenly in the machine. Try the machine's rinse plus function. The washing machine isn't spinning properly. Check that the wash load is distributed evenly in the machine. Check that your machine is not rocking or moving while it is running. If necessary, adjust the feet so that the machine is level. The washing machine is producing too many suds. Check that you're using a low suds. Front loader specific detergent. Check that you're not using too much detergent. Water is coming from the bottom of the washing machine. Check that the drainage hoses are not damaged and are fitted correctly. If not, adjust and try again. Monitor the wash cycle when you suspect leaks. Too many detergent suds can cause this problem. Check that you are using the correct amount of a front loader specific detergent. Monitor the wash cycle when you suspect leaks. Check that the detergent dispenser drawer is closed properly. Check the rubber seal on the inside of the door for damage. If the seal is damaged, it will need to be replaced. The wash cycle is taking longer than normal the machine is displaying inaccurate time remaining. Your machine's wash cycle time is an approximation and can vary depending on a number of factors. Including household water pressure, unbalanced wash loads and a buildup of detergent suds. Differing cycle times will not affect the quality of the wash. Detergent fabric conditioner is left in the detergent dispenser drawer at the end of the wash cycle. Check that the detergent dispenser drawer is closed properly from the start of the wash cycle. Check that the detergent dispenser drawer is clean. Check that the detergent dispenser drawer has not been overfilled. Check for blockages in the detergent dispenser drawer. If liquid is sitting at max level in the dispenser drawer at the end of the wash cycle, it may be blocked. It is normal for a small amount of water to remain in the detergent dispenser drawer at the end of the wash cycle. 